Travel plays a major role in Australia's global connections with other places. People who travel are usually called tourists, and the business of travel is known as tourism. There are many different reasons why people travel, whether it is for a holiday, to visit relatives overseas, or even for business and work. The reasons for global travel are wide and varied. Global travel is a very important part of Australia's global connections. In a matter of hours, we can be in another country, experiencing another culture, and trying to communicate in a different language. Life was very different before international travel. Many people from overseas come to Australia to experience our beautiful beaches, see our unique animals, and of course, meet the friendly locals. Each year, thousands of Australians travel overseas and hundreds of thousands of tourists visit Australia. The most popular city to visit is Sydney. And the most popular activities include shopping, going to the beach, and visiting markets. Tourism plays a huge part in Australia's economy and creates employment for over half a million Australians. There are really only two ways to travel overseas by air or by sea. The majority of people travelling overseas choose to travel by air on commercial airlines, as it is much quicker than by sea. Airlines are different companies which transport passengers and their luggage from one point to another. The other way to travel overseas is by sea. Generally, there are cargo ships that carry goods between countries and passenger ships or cruise liners that carry passengers. Although passenger ships are a lot slower than air travel, some people prefer the slow, relaxed journey by sea. Cruise ships make their money from people who wish to take a cruise and see other countries by sea. On board, it is like a small floating city with shops, swimming pools, gyms, and many more activities to occupy them. There are many people working behind the scenes on a cruise ship, from the captain and navigation crew to the stewards, cooks, bar staff, and entertainment staff. The travel and hospitality industry covers a huge range of things, from travel agencies and advertising, to airlines, cruises, coaches, hotels, motels, restaurants, camping grounds, and tour groups. For this reason, there are many different jobs created for millions of people throughout the world. These jobs may include airline positions, management and supervisor positions, tour guides, tour operators, travel consultants, chefs, coach drivers, waiters, and cleaners. Australians also love to travel to many places around the globe. The most popular destinations are the United Kingdom, Asia, the United States and New Zealand. New Zealand is very close to Australia and shares a similar way of life and speaks the same language. This, together with the beautiful scenery and friendly nature of the New Zealand people, make it a favourite destination for Australian travellers. Popular places to visit in New Zealand include Rotorua and Queenstown. Queenstown is a mountain village in the Otago region, where you can participate in lots of daredevil activities like bungee jumping, whitewater rafting, and parasailing. Rotorua is located in the Bay of Plenty region and is famous for its volcanic activity. At Rotorua, there are boiling pools, hot springs, and volcanic craters. The United Kingdom is made up of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Each British country is divided into regional districts called counties. London is the capital city of England and is the largest metropolitan area in the European Union. London has a wide range of peoples, cultures and religions and more than 300 languages are spoken within the city. Stonehenge is a very famous prehistoric monument that is 5,000 years old. Located in the county of Wiltshire, Stonehenge is an arrangement of massive stones 
in the form of a circle. New York and Los Angeles are popular tourist destinations in the United States. Thousands of people from Australia visit these places every year. Many countries spend lots of money promoting their appeal to Australian tourists. As millions and millions of people continue to travel each year, Australia's connections with our global friends have become even closer. <laughs>